this next question is from me. Uh, as a, a young boy, I used to get every single WWF VHS tape, watch them a million times, you know, when I probably should have been watching porn or whatever at yeah. uh, that age. And um, mm. It's what always the... a constructive hobby. <laughs> <laughs> if you got some time on your hands. Yeah, definitely. And, You'll uh, have something else on yeah, your hands. A, Anyways. You took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> and uh, and that's well, yeah. Uh, so one of them was one night, st- uh, not one night stand, one night only. It was the first WWF exclusive UK pay per view, and uh-huh. this is about the time I started rewatching wrestling. So I think I fell out with it for like eighteen months or two years or whatever. And you're brought back for one go. Is Ricky there? Mm-hmm. Did you just? Oh, no, it's Shane. Oh Shane, right. Oh, Shane. oh I, need, I need to say hello to Shane as well. Shane Douglas. And um, you're brought back one time only even though you're with ECW, to wrestle Tiger right. Ali Singh. Yes. And I remember thinking at the time watching it when I was like 10 or 11, or whenever it was, poor Al being saddled with Tiger Ali Singh when Tiger's just <laughs> struggling to do anything. Right, yeah. Yeah, well, that, I think that was why I was, you know, bro, you know, JR asked me to come back and, and to help, you know, because they really believed. I remember having the conversation with JR um, prior to going over there because there's, you know, you know I don't need tell you i mean in the uk there's a huge indian population mm. in the uk and and they he felt like they felt very confident that tiger was going to really help them break in at that time into the uk market and and attract that you know indian um indian fan base and you know i remember talking to jr i was being very frank and i go jr your, your reasoning is ridiculous i go you know tiger's okay K, he's not great. And I said, but you know, your thought process of, well, he's Indian. So the Indians are going to, you know, the Indian population is going to come to see him. I go, that's not how this works. I go, you could be, you could be any particular, you know, race, creed, religion. If you're not good, they're not going to pay to see you. And I go, and let's face it. I don't think Tiger's at that level yet. And he, oh, no, no, no. And you know, it's funny because they, you know, they, they talk a lot about, out, you know, they used to talk a lot about WWE, ECW. You know, you drink, you know, Paul Heyman's Kool Aid. Let me tell you something: the people that have the biggest bowl of Kool Aid that they can you can drink, and it is the most potent and it is the most prevalent, is in WWE. It's it's insane how you know they they create an agenda, or Vince has one, and that they now want to support, and you know they all jump on the old Kool Aid train, and oh, let's take a sip and where you can clearly see mm, that guy ain't what you think he is, but everybody else, you know, Vince thinks he is. So everybody else agrees now he is. Mm-hmm. And in spite of the reality, we're all going to convince ourselves that, yeah, that's the case. 